Hey everybody, you're watching We The Fandom, where we discuss comic books, pop culture, and the fandom experience. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel to see more content. How's it going everybody? Jacob here at We The Fandom, and oh no, they canceled the CW show Supergirl after six seasons. Six seasons. How dare they cancel our queen? Let's get into this article by Cosmic Book News. Should probably share the article first. There we go. Supergirl canceled at the CW. Uh, let's see. Canceled the CW as its sixth season will be the last for the show that first debuted on CBS back in 2015. Multitude of reasons are given for the cancellation, including that star Melissa Benoist is pregnant and the coronavirus has caused a delay in filming. But probably the main reason the show won't be coming back is its dwindling ratings. What the hell, man? Aren't you guys watching the show? We've been sitting inside ho your houses for, what, like five, six months now? Probably binge watching tons of Netflix, Hulu, whatever streaming service you got. Supergirl's on, Net on Netflix. I think maybe all five seasons. Why aren't you watching it? Uh, Melissa Benoist confirmed the cancellation on social media. To say it has been an honor portraying this iconic character would be a massive understatement. Seeing the incredible impact the show has had on young girls around the world has always left me humbled and speechless. I mean, I know, right? I love those girl power moments, don't you? Apparently not. You're not watching the show. Uh, she's had that impact on, impact on me, too. She's taught me strength I didn't know I had to find hope in the darkest of places and that we are stronger when we're reunited. What she stands for pushes all of us to be better. She has changed my life for the better, and I'm forever grateful. I'm so excited that we get to plan our conclusion to this amazing journey, and I cannot wait for you to see what we have what we have in store. I promise we're going to make it one hell of a final season. Regarding the final season, which is set to premiere in 2021, it is said to start uh, filming in Vancouver at the end of the month and will be an extended season featuring 20 episodes. Let's see. There was actually a rumor last year that said Supergirl would get canceled and be replaced by Tyler... Hawkland, I think that's how you pronounce it, Superman series, which looks to have been the case as Superman and Lois debuted on the CW in January. Uh, when Supergirl debuted in 2015 on CBS, it had nearly 13 million viewers. But when it moved to the CW in 2016, its second season saw around 3 million viewers an episode. Jesus Christ. Uh, with last year's season five, that saw the dreadful costume change average around 1.26 million or less. Come on, you guys. How dare you not support Supergirl? You didn't support it, and now it's going to get canceled. And now, how are young women all over the world going to be inspired to fight the patriarchy? I mean, I guess there's Batwoman, but you had a literal superwoman. Technically girl, but... With Supergirl canceled because of ratings, the futures for Legends of Tomorrow and Batwoman have also been got to be questioned as the ratings on those shows are just as bad or worse. Arrow also recently ended following eight seasons. I'm also wondering if that Supergirl movie is now going to happen as WB doesn't like to feature characters in the movies while there is a TV series at the same time. But maybe that has changed with the DC multiverse apparently happening. It is previously said a Supergirl movie was going to soft reboot Superman in the DC film universe, so we'll have to see what happens. Sarcasm aside, I do hope that the cast and crew of the show are able to find work after the sixth season, given everything going on with the pandemic, uh, the writers and CW executives, not so much. Uh, Supergirl movie actually sounds exciting because they're probably not likely to use the same actress and they will have a much bigger budget, which means special effects will be a hell of a lot better. The writing will be a hell of a lot better with WB, like AT&T owns WB and they're already getting rid of their publishing arm. So DC Comics is going downhill pretty fast. And they're probably going to be very careful in the future with what movies they put out, given the success of this TV show, as well as success of movies like Harley Quinn and the Birds of Prey, which I think can only be a good thing because if they focus more on entertainment and, you know, focusing on the what what pulls people into superhero uh, stories to include the comics and the movies, I think they'll do make a lot more money. 
you know, man or woman, I think most comic book fans don't really care for the, those forced girl power moments. And there was definitely a lot of that in the Supergirl show. So what happens happens, you know, the fans, the fans will decide in the end. And that's kind of the way it should be because if you're not giving the fans what they want, why do they keep paying for your show or movie? But that's all I have for you guys today. If you guys are new to We the Fandom, please hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like, and I will